guys, I am Casey from Casey's Customs, and in this video series, I am trying to build a rat rod truck for under $1,000, and in this video, we finish up the chop, and we also go over the budget. Let's get going. So I was going through the videos to get them ready to be edited and I realized I somehow deleted a couple uh, going over the budget, going over why it's not currently running, stuff like that. Can't find the videos anywhere, looked everywhere. I'm an idiot. Anyways, it's currently like 2 a.m. and uh, can't find those videos. So we're going to go ahead and just film some new ones real quick. Oh, by the way, I'm completely in sweatpants. <laughs> dripping matter of fact hold on i gotta get a tripod just so you can see the fit because <laughs> your boy's killing it at 2 a.m on monday or whatever today is i mean what do you know about the all sweat fit i'm talking sweatpants sweater that's kind of too small because i've shrunk it washing it on high like five times like i said before i'm an idiot but beside the point i'm dripping bro like am i a gangster Am I in prison? Am I a mafioso guy? Who knows, but we dripping. All right, back to the content video. So let's start here. Why won't it run? The whole reason I haven't taken it for its first drive is because it occasionally doesn't want to start anymore. Um, like maybe one out of every 10, it'll fire up, run for like five seconds, turn itself off. I have no idea why it was doing that. I assumed maybe I had a bad ground somewhere. Didn't know, went through it, regrounded everything, still doing it. Now it won't even turn on. Sometimes it just turns over. So I went through all the relays, all the fuses, everything is okay. I can actually hot wire my fuel pump. When I do that, it still doesn't want to run even when I'm doing that. So I didn't know what was going on. I've probably used, oh, 10 or 15 of these as a donor chassis. I've never had this issue before. Turns out it is the security system. And I guess a, a big thing with these security systems is the PCM will go bad. They go bad when you weld, do a bunch of welding. Every time I've ever welded on anything, I always unplug the battery. Um, not just the positive, I unplug positive and negative. But from what I've read, freak accidents can happen, especially if you're just anywhere near uh, the PCM, ECU, if you're welding around it. Sometimes it can actually go through the ground and still cause issues, even if it's not plugged in. I personally think that's bullshit, but I have no other idea what could be wrong. I've, I've literally went through everything. I've wasted days trying to figure this out, and so... It, it all points to the PCM. Like I said, I don't know why it would be, but um, from talking to other guys, they've had this happen as well. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop the cover off here tonight, figure out exactly which PCM it takes. I'm gonna buy another PCM off a used one. They're, they're on eBay for like 20 or 30 bucks. The only problem is when I put that in, my key won't work anymore because the keys are security but there's a key bypass it's only like 10 bucks so if i can replace the pcm for whatever it is 20 30 bucks and then the key bypass is only like 10 you know i'm only in it for like 40 bucks whatever it is it's definitely worth trying that at the very least because to say that i have checked everything over 10 times would be an understatement i've literally went through everything when weird things happen on electronical shit, it's usually you know a computer so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead Pop that out, get that ordered. I'll give you an update on that next episode. Let's go over the budget. The budget hasn't changed a ton since I updated it last. The only thing I've done in the last several weeks was I sold uh, the vent windows for 30 bucks. So, I mean, it just knocked 30 bucks off the tab. We're at 621, but uh, I haven't went over it in, you know, four or five episodes. Everything I've been doing in those episodes has been chopping or just, you know, welding stuff on I already bought. But I like to go through it every now and then because we do have a bunch of new people uh, each video that kind of, you know, they hop in and they go, what the hell is this budget thing about? So why, why can't you spend more than a thousand? I've had a couple people say that. Well, I can. I sure can. But that kind of beats the purpose of me trying this you know, challenge, basically. I just want to see if I can do it. And I want to see if I can do it without anything fancy. I do build hot rods for a living, but this could easily have been done by a, a guy in his shop. You know, it takes some know-how. They probably would have not done a chop because the chop's kind of scary. But everything else I've done, 
I could have done when I was 18 and I, you know, was just an idiot with a Sawzall back then. So 621 is where we're sitting. Um, got a lot of stuff to buy though. Uh, by the way, Richard put all this at the very front of the video because there's only like 10 girls that actually watch this, but I mean, once they see your boy dripping out here, we're going to, we're going to pump those female numbers up. So, I mean, sweats on sweats on sweats is what I do, baby. What are those? Got everything trimmed where it'll sit flush. It's square, it's straight, it's all lined up. Everything lined up real well. I'd like to get my door pieces kind of started as well so I can kind of get them tacked in just so I can see how the chop is going to look uh, before I spend, like I said, a full day welding, grinding, making little pieces for my, you know, little sections I've cut out and stuff. So let's go to the doors now. No, it doesn't fit. We already took a little chunk out. Now, whenever I fit these door tops, fit the door top to the door. Don't just assume because you have this much out that that's going to be what you put back. It's not always true. Sometimes the doors are, sometimes they're just funky anyway. And instead of going off of anything, you should just cut the door piece in half and then fit it to your pillars and then make your center section once these two are connected. I've done it before where, oh, this is whatever, two inches. So I'll cut it, put two inches here, and then you get here and it's off, you know, a quarter inch somewhere and all of a sudden your door gaps are all shitty. So we're gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna grind the paint off the edges and I'm gonna get my both of my door post fitting and then we'll start to make our little piece in the middle. Super cool thing about that, I had spare doors that came with these. One of the spare doors was in horrible condition, and before I scrapped it, I cut the top of the doors off because I knew I was going to need them for this and also my other 54 truck I'm working on. So we'll have this little section to add to it so we don't have to make all that from scratch, which is nice. Okay, so now we have some Lego pieces we're going to start putting together. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> that, never, that dick joke never isn't funny. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't have my gloves or my helmet, but I got this exactly where I want. These are really important because if it's off, it's off forever. So you want to make sure your door gaps are where you want them. So I cut a piece from my donor door top. And now this cute little bastard should go right in. Just like that. Bada bing. It really is just like a, a Lego set. Just a lot of cutting and uh, you know, sometimes you cut your thumb open and bleed everywhere. <clears throat> so let's put this in. Hey, that's looking like a door. both of the doors the both of the door tops tacked on that extra door section that i saved from one of the parts doors that came with this truck worked out perfect for my little fill in so now we need to put a piece in the roof and then uh, a little piece here that we stretch probably nope i got a piece okay i thought i was out of sheet metal but it looks like i got one little fill in there so we need to start fitting that Oh. 
so I have a piece of metal put in this strip. It's only about that wide, but it's just a little bit wider than the actual cut I made. And I did that so I could run these screws in it. These screws are just acting basically as a Clico or basically just a mini clamp. They're self-tapping screws, so whenever the the way they're the way the pitch is, whenever they tighten, they push the metal together. So it's actually got it pulled tight. So it's actually, you know, nothing's loose, nothing is sagging, everything is the way I want it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and hammer this seam so that it's a little bit closer together. And then what I'll do is I'll mark it. I will cut off any excess, and then this piece will fit in this gap perfectly. Let's do all that real quick. So we got that tacked in. Still need to do some hammer and dolly to smooth it out. It's a little low on one side, but got plenty of plenty of hammer and dolly to do, and also a lot of welding left. It's just tacked. I just got everything tacked basically. But since it's all tacked, I can go ahead and cut my bracing out. And then if anything is under tension now, I know you know I'm gonna find out if it is or not. It shouldn't be, but if it is, I don't want to go smoothing out my roof if something is still under tension. So I need to get these braces out and then see what happens. So let's cut all that shit out. Thank you guys very much for watching. As you can see, the chop is all done. All the welding's done. The bracing is out of it. The doors are opening and closing fine, so I'm very happy with how it is. What I'm gonna do on the next video is start to do body work on all the metal we've added. Um, I want to keep the original patina that this has. I want it to look like it just rolled out of you know the field and nothing was changed on it, even though we've changed a ton on it. So what I'm gonna do is do body work and paint over all these bare metal surfaces. So all I have to do is seal the metal, do body work on the metal, and then paint it. And I'm gonna do all that on the next video, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of the videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we're not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound, yeah, that sound good. Tell